Scrapwood challenge, scrapwood challenge. It's crack, it's crack, it's firewood, the summer wood is good. I normally make my daughter something for Christmas each year. This year I've been really busy, but I found this simple project for a last minute gift. It's a wooden block puzzle made up of doll's furniture. It's a vintage toy going back a century or more, and even though it's old, I know she'll still love it. The first cut I need to take is to cut the table out from around the outside and I'm just eyeballing this to cut out what I think looks about right. We'll curl the ends over and that will help to hold the, uh, the other pieces in. I've already made a couple of mistakes. I shouldn't have cut that piece out of the side of the chair. I should have cut it out of the front of the chair. And also, I've made everything too thick. And when I come to do this chair here, I won't have enough room to cut all the pieces out that I need to. So I've glued a new block up and I'm going to start again. I've prepped the new block. It's ready to go. I've made it a bit wider than the first one. That was 70 and this is 75. And that will give me just that little bit of extra room to play with. And just to let you know, it's 160 mil long. I've set my dividers to a tenth of the width of the block and that will now become the thickness of all the pieces. So if I just push that in there, I'll still mark it by hand. I'll put my pencil in that uh, divot. And for the table, I'm going to make it a little bit wider on the end. So that will be about a centimetre. So I'll just mark there. Same the other side, and as we did the last one, we'll just round those corners off. We don't need the table now and we'll put this one chair aside and this time I need to pay better attention and get this one right. This is where I went wrong last time. So I'm marking from the, from the front of the chair. One chair finished, I'll put that aside, and now this one here we make into two smaller chairs.
These are the pieces we've cut so far, but next we have to cut the other chair up. This one's a bit different and we actually get six pieces out of this chair. Hopefully this will make sense. I've marked out the next four cuts. I started with this one on the side here underneath the seat, then moved around to this one on the front, and the top of that one is lower than the one I just did on the side. And then I've moved back around to the side, and the top of that one is slightly lower than the last, and then back around the front, and the top of that one's slightly lower again. When I come to make the cuts, I'll start with the lowest one first, which will be this one on the front, and then back around to the side, and then back to the front and back to the side until they're all done. I've numbered the cuts to help me from making any mistakes. And the last cut to make is to split this one into two small chairs. It was just a simple video, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.